Hi guys. Welcome to JD in the Subsea. Episode, I don't know. I'm going to keep a track. The idea behind this piece right here is I have a piece that I worked on two years ago. One of the reasons you guys haven't seen it is because well, we just haven't been playing with this part of the hive. So what do you do? You got this box that's been sitting here. I was just thinking about things to do for videos and this came up. One of the things I wanted to, to make was the title of this, obviously, the sump arena or the sump pit. I can't, I'm not, at this point that I'm recording, I can't. I don't know what I'm calling this video yet. But um, basically this video is gonna be me transforming these four tiles. The Underhive Tribune, uh, a, a newspaper hive that we had going on, um, well, two years ago. This is gonna be great, cause I'm gonna put um, uh, stands. We're gonna add an announcing table. Um, as you can probably see, now that I'm pulling it out of the way, um, the old bulkheads are pretty prominent in this. Um, we're going to be adding some of those to cover things up. We're going to be adding doors and then we're going to be putting it in the sump. Um, this is quite an interesting idea that I have here, especially on something that I spent so much time making already, but we're not using it. So you might as well upgrade. And this is a little bit of what I mean when I say none of these pieces are ever done. Um, we're we're going to Put this one to the test here and we're gonna see what we come up with. Um, thanks for stopping by and here we are with the video. So of course the first thing that needs to be done is they need to take apart the old tile, uh, those bulkheads in the center really glued those things down um yeah so much so that uh oh geez what happened really <laughs> never ends no well peeling stuff up and fixing stuff's what we're all about here anyways um yeah, check out Badger Games. We're partnering up as an old friend of mine. Um, try something cool with the channel. So here we go. Cutting the foam board up and making the seats. Uh, got really lost in the rebuild of this piece, you guys. Um, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> got into a zone, so to speak. Uh, yeah, I even carved the bricks into the, uh, the pillars on the bottom to make them look like concrete coming up. Yeah, uh, texturing. So we rebuilt the, uh, or not rebuilt, but reused the generator piece on the, on the former paper. And uh, then we're gonna make box seats. And that's always a container uh, kit bash. I love doing that. Um, you know, I wanted to point out that this video is a little different again. Um, we, Jay and I took an awful lot of walkthrough video on this and uh, of this finished tile, which I thought was extremely cool. Um, and we're working on our camera skills as well. But at this point, uh, yeah, okay, we're texturing. Texturing is, you know, with sand different levels of it. It's another form of gluing all this stuff down so it doesn't fall off or get broke so badly. Yeah, sped up quite a bit here. And I used a lot. Um, I had a couple of those tile pieces bust off while I was trying to <laughs> reset it. So uh, this was what was on there originally was this glued sand texture. And yeah, it's just PVA glue, and uh, I think my, my gallon says white glue on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, here's a walkthrough of the finished build. And like I said, I had a lot of walkthrough camera footage here. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I think I'm getting better at it. There's a lot less shaky footage, which is, you know, kind of nice. It's somewhat in focus as well. Um, <laughs> we are uh, progressing here uh, at JD and the Sump Seat. So, yeah, the next steps here priming. Uh, we use black, gray, brown, ivory, and green. And, you know, it was fairly quick and basic. I know it's not quite as up close as you wanted to. That was a secondary feature that I found out when I was making this editing cut like this. So I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, I'm going to get better at it, you guys. So yeah, here we are. I'm uh, brushing on the metallics. Yeah, here's another little walkthrough. You know, this piece was screaming for graffiti work and poster work. And I did an awful lot on this. Um, Getting fluorescence again, I wanted this in the black light. It actually looks cooler than I thought it was going to, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, you just go down with ivory first and then uh, the fluorescence over it, and I double coated everything. Not going to be doing very much filming on the oils this time. Um, I don't use weathering powders on this one. We're just going to do an overspray in a second here. Didn't think it needed it. There was already a ton of work done on this. And the uh, oil paints kind of enhanced just a little bit of what was already there. So, you know, we're going to do a quick thing with the oil here and, you know, move on. We'll get to the end of the video here faster. <laughs> yep, and here we go. We got an end green spray from the bottom. This is thin down green ink. Um, you know, spraying up. The idea behind this is that, of course, the sump is splashing up on this thing all the time. Uh, boats going by, bodies falling in the water, that kind of stuff. Um, and on top of it all, this is an arena. So, yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of crap going on all the time. Like I would think in the under high. But uh, after this, uh, we get a little bit of an end, and then I do the final walkthrough with you guys. I'll talk to you at the end of the video.
And again, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by tonight. And as always, please like and subscribe.